What's going on guys? It's Wombro and in today's video I'm going to be talking about Wombat Dungeon Master and two ways you can get free NFTs. So I'll start off today talking about how I've been doing lately in the game and about a few days ago I opened up a treasure chest and I got two packs of NFTs for items. Um, so that's the first thing I'm going to be talking about is you can get uh, the first way to get free NFT nfts is by um opening up your chests and you know i didn't believe it at first that you could um you know open up the chest and possibly get something but yeah it's happened twice actually so here's this one uh, a few days ago and then i won another silver pack um a few days before that so it's pretty consistent i'd say even though um it's like a three percent chance so i'm super hyped about that um, so yeah, that's the first way you can get free NFTs. Um, I know it's not for your dungeon, but it is an item that is very useful because, um, for me in my state, wax isn't allowed. I know I could get a VPN, but I just thought I could just get as much NFTs as I could continue to play and, um, get items through just opening my chests. But yeah, um, <clears throat> you can also get NFTs like actual NFTs that have mining power um, by opening chests as well. I've seen it on YouTube. I saw somebody open up a chest and they got an NFT that had 500 mining power. Um, I don't know what resource it mined, but I mean, 500 mining power? My goodness, that's a lot um, for a free one too. I would definitely use that. So yeah, NFTs um, and item packs it's great. I'm, you know, I'm hyped about that. So there's that. And, um, the second way is actually through wamplay.io. So, um, you're going to have to play games, but basically there, if you see that circle at the top, right, and looks like a paper roll and you look, um, they give you quests basically, and they tell you to reach certain levels in the game and you will be rewarded with an NFT. And I've actually probably made about three or four NFTs now just casually playing games. Um, I would say definitely play Hero Zero if you want Uranium. Um, Tasty Tail is pretty easy. Archim is bugged for me for some reason because I reached level 10 and it's not doing anything. Um, King's Throne is going to be a little bit of a grind, but it's definitely worth the NFTs. Dinosaur Park is a great game. I have fun with that. Um, yeah, I like that game. Summoner's War is very fun. If you play Raid Shadow Legends or anything, I think I'm level 15 right now, and I'll probably get back into that. But um, yeah, I made my NFTs in Summoner's War. I'm super happy about that. And then um, Vikings, that's a good game. I have a lot of fun playing Vikings. Um, I'm almost, I think I'm like level, my palace is level six right now, and I just Played for like an hour yesterday. And then Macarena. Um, I really don't play Macarena, but here is a secret that I want to tell you about how you can just really easily get an NFT. So you see, for example, how it says um, play Dinosaur Park for 15 hours. Um, so basically, it you don't really need to play the game. You simply just need to have the game running. So when you go to sleep, you could just run that game, plug in your phone, and keep it charging and when you wake up you put in like all those hours so yesterday i did the play mech arena for four hours and i ended up getting a bacteria wombatium nft and i just threw that into my dungeon so yeah that's a little secret that um i don't think people are talking about but yeah wombucks it's easy to earn as well um at the top see i got twenty one thousand. you can i mean yeah i mean another way I should have put three ways to put it in is simply by um taking your WAM bucks and collecting the EOS and then simply just buying NFTs. That would be another good one, but I actually haven't done that because I think I'm just oh well, I haven't done it because I want to open up um the gold chest, but you need to open it up for fifty thousand. And I don't I don't know what's in it. If you know what's in it, please comment. But I I'm thinking it's potentially an NFT. So yeah, there's many ways you can get free NFTs to play Wombat Dungeon Master, for real. Um, and that's probably what I would recommend um, out of everything. 
to just like progress in the game. Um, I would, the last thing I'd like to show you um, in the video is my Wombat Dungeon Master account and how things have been. So I am now sitting at 210,000 points, basically 28 uranium, um, 343 iron, and 567 coal. Yeah, things have been accumulating. Um, it's been really good, and I recently have another about $400 in EOS, and I plan on getting um, more NFTs, but lately the market's kind of oof lately. There really isn't anything good priced for Mythics, and I personally, I only want Mythics, so um, yeah, but no, I've been having a lot of fun. I'm level 9 now. Uh, it took me like maybe three days to get from level 8 to 9. Um, but I'm still doing my routines. I have my previous videos that I talk about how to be efficient, um, and like how to just play this game to like its best, like the best way possible. I made a video on that if you want to find me, or I think I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but yeah, like there's, you don't need to really spend money. You can, you can play games and get it or just open up your chest and um, I, I'm just super happy with my progression within the matter of like less than a week and a half. So yeah, that's, you know, I'm going to keep that short and sweet. If you like the video, please subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. Um, I appreciate all the love and the likes and the subscribers lately because I just started this account. I appreciate it so much. You guys have a wonderful day.